Good afternoon, everybody. If you're like me and you're all about tech, these last couple weeks, last three weeks, have been really exciting. We've had new Mac announcements. We've had new Microsoft announcements. We've had the Razor Blade 14 come out. We've had some supply chain issues are supposedly getting better and some graphics card prices are coming down to what we might consider to be more consumer friendly. All in all, not too bad. Not too bad of a few weeks. But what I want to talk about here is there was one glaring thing that I did not see mentioned in the Microsoft Windows presentation that kind of concerns me. There's been this big push toward ARM over the last year. We've had the Surface Pro X. We've had a Samsung device come out that supports ARM. We've had an HP device come out that's ARM-based. You know, some have been good. Some have been not so good. We've recently had a Samsung Go come out at a lower price range. $349, I believe, that eh, don't really like it. But, you know, for those people looking something to stay web-based, maybe that's you. With that being said, what did we see from Microsoft that would give us any indication that they're still pushing on forward in the Windows presentation? I didn't see but one thing. They did show there on the Surface, and it looked to be a Surface Pro X, that you know touch was better, the touch targets was better, and You know, that, that, that really was about it. They didn't mention compatibility. They did say there would not be a 32-bit version of Windows. And we know that Microsoft has been working on the ARM conversion package here over the last few months. We've got it on the machine behind me here. It's nothing like Rosetta with Mac, let me tell you that. It's still buggy, it's still sluggish, it's still slow, it does not get the job done. To me, a Windows on ARM machine feels like Windows four or five years ago, before SSD drives become a thing. Let's put it that way. You're basically running at what reminds me of platter hard drive speeds of what we had a few years ago on ARM with SSD these days. Does that make sense? Is Microsoft demanding an ARM? I hope not. I want to see the 18, 20 hour battery life that we're getting out of those M1 Macs on an ARM based machine. I want to see that. I need that in my workflow. I want to see somebody challenged the M1 Mac system on a chip. Apple's got it down right now, and it's only gonna get better. If Apple can do the translation with Rosetta, then in theory, I'm not a developer, you would think Microsoft could do similar with Windows, correct? It's what you would think. It's not what we're seeing. That's the problem. And if Microsoft doesn't make a move to fix it, is ARM dead? Is ARM gone by the wayside? I hope not. AMD has shown that x86 processors made on a smaller nanometer can be power efficient. I hope that's not throwing the arms a curveball. I hope Microsoft's not saying, well, we can use undervolted AMD CPUs and achieve this battery life. It was disturbing to me that we didn't see more surface devices in the presentation. We saw an HP laptop there at the beginning. That was clear. We didn't see any Surface devices. What did you think? What do you think the future of ARM is? I just want to throw this out there. I'm not an ARM expert. Just something that was on the mind. 
what would you like to see Microsoft do? I think ARM needs to stay. Do you think it needs to stay? Do you think it needs to go? Thank you to all those that have liked and subscribed and have watched our videos so far and are doing everything you can to help this channel grow. We greatly appreciate it. We'll have some perks for you here coming up shortly in the future. So hang around, check us out, spread the word, and we will keep improving and we will keep throwing things out there for you guys to think about. Thanks a lot. Have a great rest of your weekend. Bye-bye.